I'll be showing you how I draw my guitar in Fusion 360. I'll start by disabling the capture design history because I do not want to be interfered by the design history. We don't need it today. So let's disable it. There you go. Continue. And I start by drawing the scale length. That's just a simple line starting from zero and its length will be 635 millimeters and we'll make it a construction line. And that is your scale length. And I call it scale in the sketch as well. So there you go. I start now by uh, drawing the um, fret zero and fret 12 positions. Let's make a construction plane at the first position. There you go. And let's make a second one as well. That will be 635 divided by two. There you go. This is the first fret, this is fret zero, and its width will be 43 millimeters wide. So we start by half of it. And then let's draw the other half. There you go. And then we need to set the height of the neck position over there, and that will be 90 millimeters in total but the thickness of the board is five millimeters so subtract that and you get 14 millimeters for the height over here and we'll make it a construction line because we don't need it later on and i'll get myself a spline and we make the round part of the guitar neck i'm gonna adjust it a bit so this is the shape going to be maybe even a bit wider like that and that is your first fret there you go now we're going to draw the second one and that's a bit wider and that's not 43 millimeters but that will be 49 so this is 49 millimeters divided by 2 and again the second one is over here, 49. And let's just set this height to 19 millimeters. There you go. And that is a construction height as well. We get the spline. And there you go. Yeah, we have the second shape. Adjust the shape a bit like that. That's okay for now stop it and now we have two parts which we can make a loft to so we make a sec a third construction plane for the 24th fret so we're going to divide by four and we're going to add five millimeters so there you go we're going to make a loft this is your first this is the second one it's going to be a new body. Okay. And we're going to extend this part by pulling it to the third plane. There you go. So now we have the neck. And we'll call it neck over here. Neck. And I'm, I'm going to make the fretboards. That will be five millimeters thick. We're not going to join it. We're going to make it a new body. We need to adjust it later on. So this is your fret board. So let's clear it for now. So now we're going to make the neck joint. We're going to use an offset plane, 100 millimeters. And we're going to split this body and by using this as a tool. There you go. And we're going to extrude this bit. Um, let's say three millimeters plus the thickness of the body and we're going to make a new body there you go so this part we won't need anymore and this is your neck and this is your neck joint neck joint okay we're going to draw the bottom of the neck joint now we're going to set an offset plane over there we're going to draw a line of that plane 
on half of it. So there you go. I'm gonna make an arc as well to make it nice and round. Now to connect the neck to this part, we're going to make a loft. I'm going to give it a bit of curvature and let's join it. That's it. So we have this nice shape to the neck. We're going to split the neck joint part a bit. Split this body by using this shape as a tool that shape there you go so we now have this block and we have this part that we don't need so we're going to remove it and we're going to join these two together combine the neck and the neck joints there you go so we're now going to have to set the thickness of the neck we're going to make an offset plane let it drop 25 millimeters and again, we're going to split this body and use this plane as a tool. So we have this neck and this neck joint. So let's call it that way as well. Neck joint. And we have this neck. Right. So now's a good moment to make the fretboards and the neck joints and the neck itself a bit more round let's set it to five millimeters there you go so that's uh, good for later on right so there you have it now we are going to make the hat stock and we need to extend um, this part a bit um, because here is the the bridge is going to be to just in front of the fretboard so we need to extend this a bit let's say five millimeters there you go and now we need to make construction line a construction plane over here there we go we can't see it because it's hidden so there it is let's just hide the other ones as well there you go. okay and now we're going to draw the head stock there you go let's have a look from the top so we're going to draw a circle over here let's draw it over there and we're we'll be needing six of these holes we're taking a pattern um so we need six and there will be six times 23 millimeters. That's the width in between the tuners. Okay, and we're going to remove this little sign over here. We need to set the sides as well. This will be a construction line. And we'll do something like that. Make a construction line as well. We're going to move this part around. Set it as a pivot. Let's switch it a bit. 15, let's say 16 degrees. That's more like it. Let's do 17. We're going to draw the shape of it, so we're going to extend this line, there you go, and we're going to draw a line from the middle of that, there you go, we're going to draw a line, there you go. Right, there you go. And the last part is not good nice. Okay. 
can do like that. I'm gonna make a little shape of this one as well. Leave that line. Right, so it's even nicer to do if we make this part a little bent. Okay. Now I'm going to extrude this part. 20. There you go. And we're going to extend the neck a little. And we're going to combine the headstock to the neck. And now it's time to shape up this part. And let's say 50. That's nice. Have this smooth shape. Go on. Right. Now we're going to have to cut off a bit of this, and that's where the offset plane comes in. So we're going to draw. Hey, we're going to draw a shape on this side. The height doesn't matter really, as long as this is 10 and there is like 15 down. There we go. And now we're going to make this nice smooth transition over here. So we're going to get a three point arc. Three point arc. We're going to cut away the whole shape. We're going to extend it symmetrical. And there you go. And there's your shape of your neck. And we could have made this even longer if you like. Let's do that. Let's make it. Easy shop. That's a balance. Yeah. Okay, let's do that one. That one. That's better. Extra of it to both sides. Right. That's nice. So this is your neck, and we can place the fretboard on top of it if you like. We could also shape the neck, or the fretboard even. Let's make it offset plane over here. Let's do it. Let's show it. There you go. And we're going to draw a circle in this plane. And we start off by doing that and make it a 400 millimeter circle. Stop sketch. Let's split the body. And we'll be using this circle as a tool. And now we can remove this top part and we have this nice, nice curved fretboard. So, that looks good to me. Now I start drawing the truss rod in the neck. So let's draw on this plane. And let's draw from the start of the neck, uh, let's say three millimeters down. And this will be a construction line. And we're going to start to draw a rectangle, which is which would be six millimeters wide and from fifty millimeters long. And at the end of it, there will be a nice little shape. Let's draw a circle of two points. There we go and delete all the not needed lines. So there you go. 
let's extrude this part down and it's going to be nine millimeters down we're going to cut into the shape there you go now we have this little hole over here we're going to make it rectangular and we're gonna need to see what we're doing that's going to be a hole of five millimeters wide and down like that and this part we're going to extrude the other way so that there's a nice little hole for the truss rod so there you go there's your truss rod so now i'm going to make the holes for the screws for the neck uh, to the joint connection um, i'll start by making a asset plane on this side here and I'll start by drawing a line and this line will be one centimeter out that's a construction line and I'll make a line go up to about 60 millimeters and it's a construction line as well we need the same distance on the other side so that is 16 and that is a construction line as well so my screws are five millimeters so we make a hole of six and we make a bigger hole for the um, screw nut and that would be 10 millimeters and uh, this will be the same on the other side so let's just copy and drag it down there you go now i need to copy these two holes to over here to make four screws and that's just a simple copy and paste action and let's do it let's make it 32 that's nice okay so we're now going to make the holes go through the material let's zoom out a bit and we make it all the way to the top and say cut and there are four holes and we also make some room for um, the screw nuts so these four I'm going to extrude and these will be, be uh, having the heads of the screw so this will be like um, four millimeters into the material and on the top side we'll make a three millimeter hole we go from the top side and we go down three millimeters there you go so now we have four holes on the top and on the bottom and if we add the fretboard you won't see the thing so now the most exciting part will start the drawing of the body itself and therefore i need a um, attached canvas and I select my face to put it on there you go and I select an image and that will be this one I like this shape a lot so I say open and now it is there I need to look at it from the top and I need to translate it to the size of my neck and that's a bit of a hassle let's see so therefore we need to know where the 12 fret is and the, um, the start of the neck. So let's say this is the start over here and the 12 fret is about, um, this is the 12th fret. So we need the construction planes and to see a bit better, you can do it like that. And you see it's a bit off. So there you go bit more there's your 12 frets something in between a bit more it doesn't have to be that exact it's just the shape and you can always tune it a bit and it look this looks okay let's do it like that
That's okay. So we now have this shape connected to the neck and we're going to draw the shape of the body. So I'm going to take a fit point spline, I'm going to draw on this plane and I'm going to start over here. Let's just do this, do that. We're going to adjust the points a bit later on, so you don't need to be too precise. And the less points, the better. Well, let's go over here directly, and let's do that. Okay, and now we are going to tune it a bit, so... Let's do it like that. You can move any way you want, actually. So, so like that. It's not bad. Move it a bit. Let's see what happens if I turn the canvas off. That's it. Pretty good shape. Now we have the shape of the body, and I will change this name to neck because actually it is the neck. And let me hide the fretboard and the neck part. Um, we're going to extrude this shape. Let's go three down and forty-three down for the um, body. Let's say it's a new body. We're going to lower this bit with three. There we go. So now we have a neck sitting just on top of the body, as you can see over here. And if we put on the fretboard as well, you see there's a high difference. So now we have the shape of the body. So now I'm going to hide the fretboard and the neck, and I'm going to connect the neck joint to the body. First, I need to cut out this shape of the neck joint. Um, therefore, I'm going to copy this. There you have it. And I'm going to use this to delete everything from the body. So there you go. I say cut and I do it both ways like that. Now we are left with these two and these two are to be deleted and those are easily deleted because those are two bodies so now I've got my neck joint cut out I'm going to connect these two together my bodies I'm going to join them like that now to make a more round shape of this body I'll go to the sculpt mode and I'm going to create a plane which will be over here I'll look at the top and I'll start from roughly from the center on like that and let me modify this shape so like that like that I'm go down 10 so it'll be bent a bit like that and then i'd like to do that on the bottom as well so i'll copy paste this turn it around and move it down 
and then I want to be as close to the edge as possible so if I look at it from the side it will be like 33 okay there you go and I'm going to split the body back to model I'm going to split the body uh, this body will be cut with this as a tool and I'm going to split the body this body with the bottom shape there you go yeah. and I'm going to delete anything I do not need so these two can be deleted and that can be deleted as well and that can be deleted as well and now we've got this nice shape which is a bit more round like it's good to me so now it's time to um, draw the pickups and I need the neck and the fair part to be shown and I need the scale as well um, we go to a top view oh again go to the top view and I'm going to start to draw a rectangle on this plane and let me zoom in and let's just start here and it's going to be 40 millimeters wide and um, 71 millimeters high so that's the top half and let me draw the bottom half as well so that'll be uh, 71 in height and 40 in width there you go and we need to delete all the lines we do not need so we do not need this either so now i'm going to draw from the center of the rectangle i'm going to draw a line from the center to the middle of the object and i'm going to draw a line from there up until we have the correct height which is 87 and 90 degrees there you go oh this one's in the way and i'm going to the side which is 22 divided by 2 that's it and now i'm going to draw the complete rectangle so this would be uh, 87 and the i one would be 22 and that would roughly give me the shape of the humbucker so i'm going to delete all lines i don't need and these lines and there are no lines here these lines i have some lines over here as well so now i'm going to draw fillets of six and now i'm going to draw the next fillets Six, next fillets. Because all these corners aren't being made by my six millimeter router bit, so they need to be correct in the drawing as well. Otherwise, you won't know what you're doing. So that one as well, and the last one. And we need to delete all the lines we don't need. So these are leftovers. So now we have a correct shape. I'm going to copy this to this side. And the end of my scale is over here. So I think this will do. That's okay. And now I'm going to look at the body. I'm going to extrude these two humbuckers and they're now on top of the body and I'm going to lower than 15 millimeters into the body and there's your humbucker okay it's good to me so now we need to make the hole for the tremolo and we'll do that by looking at the top side um, I'll start by making a rectangle um, and this rectangle it has two halves and the first one is 20 millimeters wide and 36 on top and the second half the bottom half to be exact is 20 millimeters wide and 45 down so that's basically the rough shape so let me delete the lines we don't need and 
like that. And then we go to the holes of the tremolo. So I'll draw a line from here, which is eight. I'm going to look up the center of the holes. This is a construction line. We go down five like that. And that's a construction line as well. And I'm going to draw our first hole for the um, tremolo, which is nine millimeters. There you go. And I'm going to copy this one um, 62 millimeters down. So that will be this. And uh, that will be correct. And now I'm going to make some fillets on this one as well, which will be six. And here we draw the second one is six as well. I'm going to draw that one six, and this one will be six. And I'm going to delete all the lines we don't need. There might be none, so there you go. So now I'm going to now I'm going to extrude this part to the body, and we go from there. So we hit the bottom, but we go down a bit further like that. So there you go, it's completely through. And now we're going to make the holes for the turn up as well. I'm going to extrude it. And we go down 19 more. So now we have the holes in place for the tremolo as well. It's good. So it's time to make the back side of the tremolo. We'll start by making an offset plane on the other side. And if I turn the guitar around there, you see it. I'll just hide these planes. And I'll start by making a line on the center of the guitar. Let me remove the body. And there we go. It's like a 23 millimeters center line. And this is a construction line. Let's go up uh, 57, the half of the rectangle I need. And so there we go. This is the complete rectangle, 116. So this is it. And now we need to make another line to be a bit higher on this side, 36. And I'll make a rectangle of 26 in width and on the bottom side, we need a rectangle of 16.5 in height and 26 in width. And the all lines I do not need. So there we go. We don't need that one. We don't need that one either. So now I'm going to make fillets of 6 millimeters only the outer corners. 6. That's probably one, that's it. All right. So now I can choose the whole shape and make an offset to the other side. So we, we can make a nice cover on the tremolo bit on the back side. So that's it, three millimeters. And now we are going to extrude to the body. So let me just snap to the body and it's nearly five down but we need to add another 15 to get into the guitar and that's the and now it's like a part of the cover which is going down an extra three millimeters so there you go and there's one thing we do not need to forget and that is this part right here that needs to be a bit lower because of the movement of the tremolo and let's say this is 15, 16 lower that's okay so now we've got this perfect hole for the tremolo on the back side as well so what are we going to do we're going to make the controls on the front of the guitar body and we start by positioning our two holes on the front of the guitar. Let's say we got two knobs. One here, that's the first one, and we've got a second one, just about here. 
Right, we're going to extrude these two onto the body. Let's drag them down a bit more so we're sure they're through. That's and there they are. So we've got these two holes in our body. Now let's draw the um, electronics hole. So we need our spline for that. Uh, we need to select our plane. This will be our plane. And we're going to draw our hole for the electronics over here. Let's do like that. That's a nice, nice curvy. Adjust this a bit, and we're going to outline it as well. Until the other side, perhaps. Yeah, that's good. And we're going to split the body with these two tools. So we've got this line, that's the first one, and we've got a second line as well. So we need to sketch for that. Modify and split a body. We're going to select the body. We're going to split it with the second line as well. So there you go. So we've got two bodies going up. Well, the inner one is our electronic part. So we need to select this one. We're going to copy it. And we're go just going to move it slightly down. So we're going to create the top half of our guitar like that and we're going to split this body with the top face of that body the other body so we're going to split this one split body and we're going to select our tool we're going to select the top side of the other body and that way we get a thin layer layer of our top part which nicely fits our whole guitar so um this is our body let's call this just body and let's call this our front and now all we need to do to get this onto our body we need to glue those together but not before we have adjusted this nice little and we go down and push this down just three millimeters and that's okay and that way we have a nice even edge for the cover and we have these holes on the front with our electronics hole we're going to combine all the all of this we're going to combine all of this with that one and we're going to combine that with that one and then it's all just one guitar part again that looks so nice very good so now let's delete the parts that we don't need anymore and those, those two so we still have our three parts and there's one thing that we can add to our body to add a little comfort and it's on the back side to add a little curvature over here so i do that by um, activating the back plane again the construction plane and then we're going to add a plane on the back side so i'm going to draw on this plane and let's say let's put it flat and let's say this is the center of it and i'd like it to be that big okay so I'm going to modify this plane by selecting these lines and I'm going to bend it a bit so just like that and then I'm going to place this plane into my body so this body I'm going to move it and let's just have a look have a good look of how I do this and then I need to adjust it just a bit like that maybe a bit more minus two that did the trick that looks good to me 
So now I'm back to the model. I'm going to split the body. This body is that plane. Select OK. And now you can see that we have a nice little curvature over here. So we're going to delete these and we're going to add a fillet to the whole body. Do that one and that one as well. And it's going to be like six millimeters. Okay, I'm going to add the same fit to this part here. We're going to do that to the front part as well. Six millimeters. So there you go. And now we have this little soft touch on the sides. And that way we have drawn a good guitar infusion. 360 ready to put on the CNC machine. I hope you think this is instructive and if you have any questions just let me know.